Well, it looks like we have a, a kick, one of the tricky kicks, scum kick, if you will, in the community. And we have Kyle Usage. Oh, a strip animation triggered by Robinson. It looks like he's putting his running on aggressive. He's going right to the deuce close formation, setting his audibles. Players who are veterans in the community, you guys are looking at how quickly he's getting his audibles set. I don't want to tell too much, but I see some very good audibles uh, inside zone and mesh spot and a lot of good plays. So we look for, on offense, we look for uh, Noonan, who's running the Cleveland Browns playbook, a very unique playbook for this stage in Madden. And he's competing against um, – Slim, who is running the Lions, Detroit Lions defense, which is the defense of choice for many Madden players across the community. We're going to see all four players in that Detroit Lions playbook. Now, we're going to get a little to this a little bit more when Slim takes over on offense, but he made a very interesting choice at quarterback that I'd like to touch on a little later. First play, looks like we have Leonard Fournette running up the gut. And the run defense was very stiff, only a gain of two yards. A lot of times when you're new on this big stage, you have nerves and you don't want them to get the better of you. Running that ball early and having success on that side of the ball can make things a lot easier and really just make you feel like you're back in your basement. Absolutely. CYD, baby, conserve your dots. You don't want to come out and show your, show your hand. So sometimes running the ball allows you to not show your opponent where you want to go and show all of your tendencies. You might, you might need those dots for later in the game. Now, Lennon Fournette, we know he's a bruising back and he has some style to it. Third and five, you don't want to put yourself in these third and long situations like this. We know nobody brings their punter, but do you think he's feeling a little confident here? Third and five, this is the first third down of the game. You got to have a dot ready. You have to have about seven. You might potentially see seven or eight third downs. I'm intrigued by the defense. Whoa! By the defense that we're getting out of Slim. He's running three, four odd, which is a very, very old school formation. You don't see a lot of it in Madden 19, but hey, Noonan was able to execute. Noonan also said that he had ran into Slim in an earlier tournament in New York, and he was running a completely different offense. He was trying to help keep him off balance and didn't want him knowing what he was going to do here today in Philadelphia. Hey, sometimes that's a good thing is to run something new, run something unique. But just like stopping all of the greats, all of the great legends, regardless of what sport, you have to stop the guy. So you can know that it's coming, but being able to stop it is a whole different thing. You might know that Michael Jordan is going to shoot that 17-foot fadeaway, but are you in position and are you capable of stopping it? So knowing what they're going to do, but being able to stop it, that's going to be the challenge, the theme of the day. Now, we're going to see a lot of Michael Vick this tournament. And, you know, he looks very comfortable uh -oh, on his Eagles. Oh, we have our first broken tackle. We have Leonard Fournette running, 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 and running some more for six. Breaking tackles. That's what he's there for. That's why you pay the cap. And Noonan is on the board. And that was definitely money well spent. There's, there's no better feeling than having that first drive, Man. putting it together, getting that seven. That's going to allow you to play defense a little bit more Absolutely. comfortably. He can now breathe. Absolutely. <laughs> and nothing more frustrating. I know if I'm slim and I actually invested in running 3-4, putting linebackers, using the overpriced cap for linebackers to put them on the field, and a man runs down and breaks a tackle for an easy seven, I'm kind of upset. So let's see how he responds. Does he panic offensively and try to, you know, overcompensate for things not going his way defensively? Or does he maintain his composure? Now, he decided to go with Cam Newton over Michael Vick. Everybody else is using Vick. Do you think Cam's going to be able to get everything done that he needs? Will he be fast enough to get away from those ends? Will he be able to get outside that contain? Cam. Oh, Cam. Listen, Cam Newton, the very – when I look at the guys, and like we said, each player, each coach has 850 cap to make the best team that they can make. One of the stats that intrigued Slim and why he went with Cam is because Cam Newton has a very, very high break sack rating. So I want to see as uh, Noonan runs his defense, if they are able to get to Cam Newton, is Cam Newton able to shrug the sacks off and, and uh, keep the play alive? Uh-oh, and we have Coleman live. 
He didn't go with the spin. Good click on, click off. Nice technique right there, avoiding giving up too many extra yards. And so, nice run. And I think that also speaks to nerves a little bit right there. There was absolutely zero stick work out of Slim right there. Yeah, he yeah, had a one-on-one -on -one yeah, yeah, opportunity, yeah, yeah. nothing but daylight in front of him. He just got tackled, yeah. and that was it. You, you have to use those situations. <laughs> you know, one-on-one -on -one situations, you got to make a guy miss. Oh, great defense. Great defense right there. The, the best player of all time in our Madden community, Prom Wright, one of my th things that I've always been so much – like so appreciative of when I watch him play is his ability to make people miss in the open field. And right there, you know, uh, Slim being new to the game, he was unable to make a spectacular play in the open field, but maybe he gets that opportunity later on in the game. And you hate to see that cost you. If he doesn't wind up getting the first down or moving in points when he had an opportunity to possibly put seven on the board. Uh-oh. I see a wide open corner route. I believe that is double sale. Trips tight in. Shout out to my man Chaos. Shout out to Manu Tronobili. Uh, the trips tight end is a very popular formation, very effective, balanced formation in the game of Madden, and we're seeing some excellent execution from my man Slim. He was wide open. You can't give players at this level that much time to go through their reads and progressions. Oh, They're going to no. find an open receiver every single time. Oh, no. And you got to adjust. You cannot leave that deep blue out there to allow the corner route to just get, get loose. I look to see if uh, Noonan is going to adjust and maybe perhaps put that outside corner in an outside quarter. That is the defensive adjustment that tends to play uh, the react a little bit better to that particular corner route. He's going to have to do that or send pressure a lot quicker oh, to not yeah. allow that oh, to yeah, develop. Because if you, you give that time, he'll never be able to cover that route. No there. way. No way. Look at, look at Cam Newton. The dramatic hot routes. As soon as you audible with Cam, he, he does the most dramatic stuff. We got a wheel route. I believe that's PA wheel. So he has triangle on the wheel. There was a deep blue. Again, no outside quarter. It didn't react. In that situation, he'd be better off with a soft squat, probably shaded to the outside. You know, if, you know, a lack of, that's the thing with this uh, nickel 335 odd. Everyone is very excited and, and over talks about, you know, the, the loopers coming in. But, you know, the greater players, they're going to have amazing adjustments behind the loop. Shooting the gap. There is no future in, that, in running that inside zone. Yeah, and right now Noonan has to be feeling great. He's able to hold him to at least a half stop here. If he decides to go for it, he has him in a box yeah. right now. What is Besides the that one play, play you, you couldn't have asked for a better start right here. And now he has the momentum, and he can dictate the way this game is going to go. What do you think? I, I know there's a couple people out there as I ask this question. You're in this situation. You're in the hot seat. Whoa, we almost have a block. Do you take that three right there? I say it's a good field goal. You got to take those you points. You got to take those points. Chat, if you guys think he should have took the three, put your ones up. If you think he should have went for it, put your twos up. Let's see what they say out yeah, there. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. Chat there's probably a couple gunslingers out there in the chat. Shout out to everybody watching. I'm actually going to tune in myself. Okay, so Noonan's back on offense. Looks like he's in the, the deuce close formation. He's got Greg Kittle. Look for Kittle. A very uh oh. Oh man. Leonard Fournette trucking and trucking. Now, Leonard Fournette, we've seen him in some of these other club championships not really being able to establish himself, not get the broken tackles that you look for when you're putting him and you're using that much cap on him. But here today, he looks like the greatest running back in Madden history. Man, I, Leonard Fournette, if I have to vote, Leonard Fournette gets number two ranked running back in salary cap. I got to go with none other than Sticky Ricky, who we'll get to see a little bit later. Word on the street is one of the players actually has Ricky Williams, a free card that EA blessed us with, who is the most dynamic running back in the whole entire game. And a missed opportunity there. He had a hold that he was able to run through, just couldn't quite maneuver the stick work there. That's going to come back to haunt him as he faces a third and two. A third and two. Now, great point that you said. Now, that's why I like Ricky Williams. Woo, good defense. Better than 
Leonard Fournette is because Leonard Fournette is a bigger card. So, like, when you have to get through those tiny holes uh, in between, you know, your guards and your tackles, Leonard Fournette being such a big card, sometimes he's not able to be as agile and, and get through the spots. All right, we got fourth, a fourth and, three. and three here. You got to make sure you have at least two reads on this oh, one. Oh, yeah. Because he's going to take that first flip one away. It, flipping the play. We got Dion up top. Dion gets cross man over to the square route, and the pressure gets in, baby. Khalil Mack attack with the sack. And, and there you have it. You know, fourth down, you're going to send the Wolves. You want to make sure that he does not have time to get that first down, take away his main read initially, and it worked out perfectly for him. How about Deion Sanders coming down from the free safety position, making the same – we always talk about – cross man and the effectiveness of cross man but he manned him up on square from the free safety position and Dion was still able to be in position to take away the in route i'm pretty sure that was his first read and it was a great one <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it was a great man. one but it was a great adjustment okay look we have Dion, who's throughout his career one of the best corners if not the best corner of all time but in this madden world we played Dion as safety baby and Dion, it, you'll see him on pretty much every single team locking down from the safety position. He is a must-have when it comes to salary cap. Oh, you got to have a Dion. Prime, baby. Now, you got to be able to make the most of this opportunity right here. You got your stop. You got Cam ready. This is where third and two. You might want to look to see what you can third get with Cam. Two. Okay, so we have the receiver in motion. Oh, he brought him the whole way over in motion. We have a play action. Hits his drag, spins. Hey, keep the chains moving. That might be a fourth in inches, though. Yeah, okay. And it, and it was interesting that he went to that route and he automatically defaulted to the spin move. Whereas if he would have just kept running, I think he might have been able to he get that He might have been first able. Down. Yeah. Oh, I. Okay. If I'm down four, I just got the stop. I got to go for it on fourth and inches, man. But he's being a very disciplined player. I just would hate for this situation to come back to him later in the chat. Chat, type it in. Do you agree with me? Are you going for – are you taking this three right here, fourth and inches? Or do you just got to put your head down and get that first? My question that I really need answered is, if you don't feel comfortable on fourth and inches, what other fourth down do you feel comfortable on? Talk that talk, Rico. If talk you, that talk. you got to get fourth and inches. A fourth and inches when you can go through any play in your playbook and keep them off guard, that just bodes for your confidence later on in this game. If I if I was on defense then, I'd feel like whew, I avoided one. He took that three. Could have been a lot worse. Right. Oh, man. It looks like he's – solidified his run D that's the thing Fournette he's good for a broken tackle um those plays are going to come and go you know so you gotta it looks like he's not being shy about his defensive plan he hasn't left this 3-4 he's sticking with it he's a hey, broken tackle happened he's just gotta get back and continue to play and again Fournette is getting a lot of carries oh, oh god here, here he is again Something tells me we're going to see a lot. I asked ESG Noonan. Shout out to ESG Noonan. I asked him pregame. I said, who is your MVP? Who's, your, who's a player we need to watch out for on, on your offense? He said without blinking, look me dead in my face, Leonard Fournette. And, hey, the man told the truth. And he's not disappointing as of yet. Now, this is where two-minute warning, second quarter, you got to start being smart here with the clock. Manage the clock. See if you can also make this the last drive of the half. Absolutely. You're controlling it with your run. Oh, Ooh, good juke. Uh-oh, strip animation. Nice. Good play by both sides, man. Ten rushes for 91 yards and a touchdown. Right now, if somebody told him he would have Leonard Fournette putting up those numbers, he'd take it every day and twice on Sunday. Yeah, man, absolutely. Very good running. Okay, looks like we have a we have a mesh post look. Got a post from from the B receiver. He threw that a little bit late. Very, very close call. I don't know if I, I like him to hit that route a little bit early. And I also would rather see him streak the R1 receiver, the slot receiver. That enables that post to get open a little bit better. Right there, he didn't have um, 
nearly enough separation between him and the defender. Throwing that one late is what cost him that completion. That's why he was able to get in there. That was a great pickup on your part. Uh-oh. Here goes Fournette spinning and stumbling, rumbling, bumbling. Now we have another decision to make. Fourth and four. <laughs> Four, four, four. Is that Wendy's? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, right now, I'm not quite sure. He's going to need to make sure that he picks a great play here. You don't want to force anything because right now you're not really worried about him going up top. On fourth and four, I think he's going to look to try to take away that long cross. I have a deep crosser. He ran with it. Playmaker to the running back. Oh, oh. missed tackle. That's tough, and I knew that was coming underneath. That's why he said you got to be able to wrap up. Man, Tyreek Hill has the same break tackle rating as Paris Hilton, and he broke that tackle, man. Oh, got to hurt your heart right there. His players got to make some tackles. Broken tackles are a theme of this first half. Look at, oh, my goodness, Fortinet runs hard, baby. He is the hardest runner in Madden right now. Those broken tackles. You almost incorporate that into your offense. Oh, yeah. They, that's what, it's what you pay the cap for. If you, if you go down and you choose to use a, you know, say like a Chris Thompson, a speed back, um, Tevin Coleman, some people use. Those guys don't necessarily break the tackles. Look at Fournette. The first guy, the first guy doesn't even stand a chance. Not at all. We were watching the, uh, when I was doing the uh, Pittsburgh, club championship. Fournette could not get a broken tackle, could not get to the outside, hey. could not produce anything. And right now, he looks like he might be the greatest running back in Madden history. Hey, it's in the player, man. You got to get the player that fits with your particular scheme. Sometimes you'll see a guy who will probably be better suited to use an elusive back go with a guy like Fournette, a bruiser back, even though it doesn't fit his, his particular scheme. That's why salary cap is so dynamic, man. You get to Use the 850 cap to build your perfect team. So don't get a don't get a running back that just you see everyone else in the community using. If you're not a if your style doesn't cater towards having a bruiser back, then go get a finesse back. Uh oh, the spin move. You know. Here's where he needs to be smart and manage that clock. There are 23 seconds left remaining. He took eight seconds on that play. Could have called that timeout a little earlier. You have an option to get the first down here. You know it's going to be a little tougher once you get here in this red zone to punch it in. You have to manage the clock wisely. Absolutely. But at the end of the day, this man is in control. I look. Oh, he went with the wham. Nice call. What's the timeout situation? Okay, no huddle. Vic with the no huddle. It looks like we're going to get wham again. Braun Necker. Just wasted a lot oh, of time. Oh, gosh. You can't bring those timeouts with you. He cost himself probably an extra play. Yeah, I, I would have rather him call the timeout at 18 seconds, and then uh, he could have probably got a pass play and had another had time for another run play. And this is where you wonder, is it strategy? Is it nerves? Is <laughs> what? Uh. Wow. And that missed clock management cost yes. him that extra yes, shot at it. it. Did. He yes, could have taken did. one more play, whether it was a pass, that he tried something in the end zone, but Oh. Right. No, you're right. That we need to keep track and see if those three points come back to haunt him instead of getting seven there. Okay, second half, here we go. We got Noonan kicking off with a four-point lead. That was a great half, defensive defensive battle. Now, if you're Oz and you're Figgy watching this, how do you keep yourself from focusing on this game and not getting ahead of yourself and remembering mm. that you still got one to get to? I think if I were Oz or Figgy, I'm thinking about my game, but I'm also really – using this opportunity to watch what goes on in this game, meaning situational play calling. What did this man run in when he when his back is against the wall? Because nine times out of ten, if he ran it against that, if ran it against you, he's going to run it against um, someone else. If he ran it against someone else, he's going to run it against you. So, you know, where does he like to throw on fourth and four? Where, what is his play call on fourth and three? 
you know, so they might be able to, if, you know, God, will, God willing they win their game, they might be able to use some of that information, incorporate it into their uh, scheme as they try to win and beat them for the championship. That was a great piece of defense there that was able to hold him there. He took away that route manually up top and got back down uh -oh. to still make that tackle. Ooh. Good play, man. Uh-oh. Odell. And that was incredible patience. Okay, we got the no huddle. He waited for him to take that step. Yes, he did. Was able to pass him through him that one. Great offense. Beat good defense. Uh, and you see, he's uh, taking the time. He has Ron Parker, 89 speed on the on the loop. So he's taking his time at the line. I getting his uh, hot routes ready. IDing who he wants to block. Trying to buy some extra time. His offensive line is doing a great job. He missed the read. You got to hit X right there. You cannot hold the ball. He got a little, he got a little shy there when he saw him getting out there. Yes, he, still he should have did. Thrown that ball. Yes. He was open, but that hesitation Man. is what cost him that sack and allowed that first and 10 to turn into second and 18. Exactly. He would have been looking at about second and three. He could have caught that in rhythm, caught it in stride, hit a quick spin move, turned up the field. And, man, it would have been second and short. Now you're at second and 18. And I, I expect to see Noonan send the Wolves at him right here. I don't think it matters who you ID at this point. Everybody's coming, baby. Uh-oh, we got an in route, Odell. So, look, now he wants to take the short route. Ah, these guys kill me. <laughs> the interesting thing is he hasn't thrown an incomplete pass. No. He just needs to start throwing more of them and getting them off. Yeah. Because right now he can't take any more sacks, and he needs to start moving these chains. Yeah. Sometimes guys take a little too much pride. In, but I didn't have any completions. So what if you don't have any incompletions if you took four sacks? You know, get the ball out of your hands, man. You can't hold the ball, hold hold on to the ball and put your defense, put your offense in a bad situation. Oh, he's got to get a lurk right there. He That's why I say Ron Parker, man. He doesn't animate. You guys are crazy using these cards at, as your user. He was so close to getting that. He was right there, but just couldn't get them to make that play. You got to go with App God, Troy Apke. He would have picked that ball off laughing, giggling, Still running the other end for six. Uh-oh. Spin something. Oh, my gosh. Where is the stick? <laughs> he just running straight. He was using the threat of the spin to keep him honest. Yeah, he was. He, he was. He was. Corner and turn it up. Just ran out of a little bit of field. If he had about another foot and a half on that field, he might have been still running. Man, this guy ran over to get some Gatorade. Man, go ahead and make run to the end zone. Stop running to the sideline. All right, this is where you definitely need seven. You don't want to be forced to take three here. Oh yeah. You put together uh -oh. such a great drive. It's B, B. Oh, my gosh. And here's where you tell you. Sometimes you get tunnel vision. Yes. Especially when you get down here in that red zone. Oh, yeah. You're so worried about not making that mistake. You don't want to force anything. You sit on that one read, and that winds up costing you. Okay, we got trips tight end flipped. Looks like he's going to motion Moss over. Opposite side of the field. Oh, yeah. I like the play call, baby. Ooh. Caught him man aligned. The guys didn't motion out with him. He had him on. Oh, my goodness. That was a nice post motioned over that turned into a, a, a corner route. And here's my question. I understand you now want to give away your defense. I understand you trying to hide it. But at the point where you know, you know what you're in. At the point where you know Randy Moss is going to be running buck naked by himself oh. to the end zone. You got to come out of it. You got to yes. You got to get back over there. We're going to be saying it all day. It's the defense. It's the adjustments behind the defense. Everyone that we see tonight is going to be running the crossfire defense. But what are the adjustments like behind it? Fournette is he able fighting. To Man, I'm telling you, that first that first defender stands no chance. Zip, zilch, zero. Zero. Now, if you're Noonan, you've had control of this game. You've missed a couple opportunities. Now that you're actually trailing, you have to make sure that you get a good quality drive here. Nice 
Uh oh. Looking for that man. He's fighting, but listen, uh, Slim's defense, they're they're holding up. Okay, we have a third and in inches. He opts for goal line. This should be a this should be a free first down. This is one of the downfalls of picking your play too early. Players that are out there in the chat, sometimes, you know, when situational play calling. You don't necessarily want to be in 3-4 every single down, okay? So if it's a third in inches and your opponent goes in the goal line, he only needs a couple inches to get the first down. There's no point in being in 3-4 odd. Match up according to his formation. Sometimes you'll see it say 1-3-1, one, one, letting you know there's three receivers. You want to line up in something that will allow you to stop three receivers. But lining up in 3-4 odd, that's not going to allow you to stop um, a goal line run. So great play call on from uh, – ESG Noonan. Now, Slim needs to get his defense. If there was ever a time he needed to stop, he can take complete control of this game right now. Or oh, he can my just give up all the tapes right it here. It looks like Fortnite is back out running. He got caught, though. Okay. And that's going to happen to Leonard Fortnite. Yes, but it is. He also, also picked up an amazing amount of yardage mm -hmm. right there. That is the 182 rushing yards. Woo, buck 82, and we still have four or five minutes left in the game. That's you know a how bad tough it side. Is to win a game of Madden when you give up 182 rushing yards and the fourth quarter hasn't begun yet. Mm, mm, mm. But at the end of the day, the man is still up. He must be doing something right. Oh, God. I don't think he'll get the ball again. Nah. That's what you call a throwaway play. Dude, Fournette was funny. tired, and he went with uh, Kyle Usage. Uh, excuse the pronunciation. He went with his fullback, allowed that man to get a carry. If anything, instead of wasting a down, I'd like to see him either burn a timeout or I'd like to see him pass the ball, which will allow Fournette to come back uh, full strength. But ra wasting a play, running the ball with an awful uh, – card is just not uh, an option not an I, option. i'm completely with you call that pass scramble with your quarterback do what you need to do to get a couple anything positive yards. but give it to the fullback wow what's the solution i mean if a guy is breaking every single tackle i mean are you on chat what do you what do you believe here do you go with the balanced tackling do you go with aggressive tackling you go with conservative. If Fournette is just running us over, I might even just go to aggressive tackling because he's breaking the tackles anyway. Now, here's where you start to get a little nervous. Gets a little tight here oh. once you get in that, that red yes, zone. Yes, it does. Yes, and it does. 13 because you don't want to throw a pick here. So, look, we have drag, drag, post. Oh, wow. A very, very popular uh, play set up. Reminds us, those of you who are familiar with the uh, West Coast playbook, by using route specialist on his receiver, he's able to hot route him to a post, which gives him a very tough uh, route combo to defend. You have two drags, high, low, and you have that post over the top. And he opted was, for one of the drags. That was a huge score right there just because now he's up more than a field goal. Yes, he is. So now a f you, you can bend, but don't, bend break. but don't break. You can give up three and still be in control of this. Right now, the ball is completely in your court. And if I'm slim, I want this to be the last play, uh, the last drive of the game. Like, you don't get this ball back. It might be for Slim, but it might be because he goes four and out. Oh, man. <laughs> well, that's not what we're looking at. We, I want to see a good offensive performance out of these guys. But, hey, that's what it's about. It's been a defensive rumble so far. Now, I can kind of understand why he made the Cam Newton decision, but the lack of him running, the lack of him moving that ball with him makes me almost think uh -oh. he should have went with Vic. Jeez, there goes Cam being Cam. <laughs> and here's why I don't like Cam Newton. Let's just talk about it. Okay. Watch when Cam Newton does his hot routes. Okay. He's going to he's gonna touch the sky. He's going to point to the sky. He's going to make a Superman sign. He's going to do the, you know, like, what is all this? You can't have a guy on your football field doing that he's because he's wasting. Yeah, he's dabbing. He's 
Just doing too much. Uh-oh. Odell, he just gave him an opportunity. Now here's where you have to make a decision. Make a decision. Do you think you can hold him to three? Do you go ahead and go forward here just in case you get it short field so at least you don't have to deal with the clock and several other first downs? Yeah, well, I actually – yeah, you might as well punt. I mean, you might as well go no, for I mean, it. No, go yeah, for yeah, it. you, you might as go well go it. for it, right? If you don't get it, because field, you already time. need you already need a touchdown. But I mean, he must trust his defense. I don't know why, because he ain't been able to stop for a net yet. And his punter was terrible right there. Like at the point where you have that song, man, uh, he'll be he'll cry in the car home. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Maybe he maybe he believes in his defense. Golly, Fournette's just running for six yards at least every time. Twenty-two for one, a buck eighty-one. Someone do the math. What's he getting a, a per carry? Eight and change. Sheesh. In our old days, we used to call this a speed bump defense. Oh, you can't wow. even slow it down. <laughs> it's just a little bit of a speed bump. Okay, we have Mike Vick coming to the line. Shout out to some of the guys we see in the chat. I see Dubby, Drinny. Philly's favorite son, Tubby. Dub Dollars. What's up, baby? Needed Nation. Oh, shout out to the chat. Let me take a look at the chat. I see Obi Shy Kobe, Dreeny. Chaos. Chaos, Mr. Trips tight end. Right. Can't let him clock. Good defense, man. Look at Dion coming down from safety, making a tackle. Huge stop right here. You got to come down. You got to be able to get a stop. Okay, now, guys, watch this. Fourth and two. Last time, he manned up Dion Sanders, free safety on Odell. I look to see if he goes with that same adjustment and how uh, Noonan is able to counter that. He's going to have to send heat. Look, man him up one square. Wow, good defense. That's you got to go with the outside quarter with the same adjustment. What's up, Docs? That's going to hurt. That was big. On a fourth and two to give up 50. <laughs> but he kept him out the end zone, you know. Yeah, but now here's where you're going to have to lock down. You got that two-minute warning. You got to hold them to three here. Right, got to hold the three. And you're asking your defense to do what they have been unable to do so far. Now, we're just going to see if he gets a little conservative with his play calling here or he decides he's going to try to just punch it in and end this game. Yeah, well, uh, the brutal truth is uh, a first down makes this – Bye bye, baby. You know, so his defense really has to, as my man RG always says, stand up for themselves right here in this situation. Look. Oh wow. Oh. And his oh. chances are slim and none. Yeah. And slim just left the building. Yeah. Not completely yet. He still has a chance with two timeouts. If I'm noon and I might score there, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I definitely would have scored there. Yeah, it's not like let's he, go up eleven. Slim's been in a box the whole game anyway, so why not? See, because you take one of these hits and actually fumble, you're then never you're, the same person. Yes, sir. You're never the same person. Yes, sir. We know EA Sports. It's in the game. Anything can happen. You just try to minimize your exposure here. But hey, if it gets him to victory, yeah, we'll who see. Who am I to second guess? Uh oh. Yeah, now you let now you oh see I don't call that timeout. You don't call that timeout. Let the little thirty five seconds go off. Call your timeout with about forty seconds left, I, which essentially is the same thing. But I would hold on to that timeout. You never know. He he. I see. I take it just in case he does something crazy, like throw a pass nah. or do something. You never know. But see, because you don't have any timeouts, he's hundred percent going to run. Uh oh. Now here's a play call right here. He's going to take his three and love it. I might not take this three. He's going to take his three and love it. Well, what's the difference? You're still up seven. No, no. Okay. If you don't take your three, 
They He's got to get 98 yards. And here's what I tell you. We've seen stranger things happen. Oh, yeah, 100%. You take your three. 100%. And you play D. Now, here's where I – the my bigger question is, do you kick it deep or do you kick it short? Hey, you go I'm going to I'm gonna ask. I'm, there's a man in the stream. They told me to ask uh -oh. if, if you kick it Too deep soon. or if you kick it short. They told me to ask somebody in the stream. I was there for that. Too oh, soon, too soon. man. I didn't get to see it, but they were just telling me before the game. I don't think he Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> we almost had a block. If he would have got that block. Wow, Dion. He tried. Bro. Wow. But now we have 37 seconds. Shout out to Sirius Mo, Lima, Ohio's. Favorite son. Uh-oh. Good kick right there. Serious Mo in the chat. All right. Here we go. You got 37 seconds. Another great man player. To go 60 yards. It's good to see the community is, is supporting and watching the other guys go after it. I bet he wishes he would have scored now. Yeah, see? I like to be up 11, man. One broken tackle, one spin, one... You know, deflection. One Randy Moss. Yeah. Like, uh-oh, he's looping. Good pocket presence. I love the oh pocket presence. Gosh. You got to get out of bounds, and he didn't. Nice. Come on. Come on. No huddle. Something. If you were going to do that, you had a blocker there. You should have You got to get back. out of bounds there, man. Okay. Up, we got Bo Ringer. He's in bunch. Bo oh, Ringer is 100% going to block. Uh-oh. Why would he go back over the middle? I have no idea. Fire his offensive coordinator. Uh-oh. Oh, man. And then he went no He huddle. might get one play. This is terrible This is the last play of the game, though. Coordinator. Unless he knows. And look Three, at Cam Newton. Two, one, and that's yeah. what he look gets Cam. for the no huddle. That's with Cam with that's, those delayed hot routes, man. And the no huddle cost him. Yeah. Throwing that pass to the middle of the field cost him. That's clock management. We need to figure out. Is that clock management? First off, is let's go. nerves? Congratulations to ESG Noonan and Slim. Both players will shake hands at the end of the game, man. They both fought, you know, win or lose.